32 people have been killed so far in the violence that rocked northeast Delhi since Sunday evening. On Wednesday, Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal visited the riot affected Shiv Bihar as over 200 people were injured in the riots after an alleged clash between pro and anti CAA groups. Earlier, National Security Advisor Ajit Doval, accompanied by senior Delhi police officers, had visited the affected areas, going door to door and assuring residents of safety. Congress President Sonia Gandhi, along with a delegation of senior Congress leaders, including Leader of Opposition in Rajya Sabha, Gulam Nabi Azad, Ahmed Patel, and Randeep Surjewala, today met President Ramnath Kovin to seek normalcy and peace in violence hit Delhi. The party also submitted a memorandum to the President which stated on the grim situation in Delhi and alleged Home Minister and the central government for failing to assess the situation. Some unidentified persons exploded a hand grenade at Kakching Lamkhai, Kangsim village under Kakching district this morning. No one was injured in the incident, according to a report. Police rushed to the site to take stock of the situation. Sources said the explosion took place at the office of James Culling and Sons Construction Private Limited around 9.40. A Tata Innova bearing registration number AS01AM9300 was damaged in the blast. Council of Teachers Association quota is all set to launch a relay hunger strike starting February 29 against the Manipur government's indifferent attitude towards the association's demand for rectification of revision of pay rules. This was informed by quota convener C.H. Santakumar while talking to journalists at Manipur Press Club Imphal today. The Government of India provided 15 tons of medical assistance comprising masks, gloves and other emergency medical equipment to China yesterday. As per reports, these supplies were delivered by an Indian Air Force C-17 special flight which landed on Wuhan, China last evening. This assistance has been provided in the wake of the coronavirus COVID-19 outbreak in China and the request by China to provide supplies such as masks and medical equipment. Saudi Arabia today halted travel to the holiest sites in Islam over fears about a viral epidemic just months ahead of the annual Hajj pilgrimage. A move that came as the Mideast has over 222 confirmed cases of the new coronavirus. According to media reports, the extraordinary decision by Saudi Arabia stops foreigners from reaching the holy city of Mecca and the Kaaba, the cube-shaped structure the world's 1.8 billion Muslims pray towards five times a day. District Child Protection Unit Imphal East organized a one-day awareness program on child protection, child marriage and adoption today at Luang Sangbam Community Hall. The program mainly focused on the low sex ratio, child marriage and infanticide in the state. Mantri Pukri Battalion of 9 Sector Assam Rifles under the aegis of Headquarter IGAR South conducted an anti-drug awareness drive for drug-free Manipur yesterday. The awareness drive was held under the theme United We Stand to Fight Against Drugs for a Drug-Free Manipur was organized by Sagolmang Company operating base at Peace Ideal Academy Pukau Village in Imphal East District. Morey Battalion of 26 Sector Assam Rifles under the aegis of Headquarter IGAR South organized a monthly village chief meeting come security meet at company operating base T. Minau yesterday. Village chiefs, secretaries along with villagers attended the event. The 38th edition of Agartala Book Fair 2020 is underway at International Fairground of Hapania since last evening. Tripura Chief Minister Biplav Kumar Dev inaugurated the 12-day-long book fair in the presence of other dignitaries. This year, the theme of book fair is My Tripura, My Culture. Chief Minister Biplav said, Agartala Book Fair is one of the oldest and biggest of its staff in the Northeast and has its own significance. Union Home Ministry of Law and Justice the previous night issued a notification stating the transfer of Delhi High Court Justice Ash Mulidhar, who had earlier pulled up Delhi police over their inaction on head speeches of the BJP leaders. As per reports, Justice Mulidhar has been transferred from Delhi High Court to Punjab and Haryana High Court.